welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts. You're catching me on my YouTube channel True Divine 44, or you're catching me on my YouTube channel via my Facebook page True Divine 44. Like, share, subscribe, and comments are greatly appreciated on either or both of those platforms. You can also follow me on The True Divine at both Twitter and Instagram. So I put out as much free content as I can, mainly via tarot to help support, guide and inspire those who want to be supported, guided and inspired. Part of that is the daily energy readings that I try and get out. And um, it's where I pick up on the energy, I work with energy, see and feel energy. Um, so I pick up on that energy and then I play with the tarot deck and the tarot deck always um, builds up the story or backs up the story that I'm feeling regarding the energy of the, of the day, of the week, of the month. So that being said, this is for the 30th of May 2020 and it's a tough day in that we have this Three of Swords. This card is one of the toughest I think in that um it feels like there's even less hope than there is in the tower card for me with the three of swords um it's deep sorrow deep sadness um a, a, a pain a, something um physical and mental manifesting as a physical pain in, in your heart um a real yearning for different times and so it can be hard to see past this card it can be hard to see um the eagle eye view of your situation of the direction that you need to go in when you're in the energy of this card it um feels like there's much less hope or no hope than before whatever that before is now on the wider stage of course this speaks to the deep sorrow and deep sadness that a lot of my friends are experiencing today but for just one of the areas that we're starting to see the physical manifestation of people's mental state deteriorating to the point where we attack our own and so there is literal cities up in flames um, and many people looking at those physical things those buildings those um all of the hard work blood sweat and tears that maybe went into family businesses and seeing it in ashes seeing it destroyed seeing it broken down um and the real sadness is is that there is both nothing that these people could have done to save their businesses, the bricks and mortar, um, and yet there is everything. And deep down, I think we know that in our subconscious, that where have we found ourselves, where where are we now as as humans, um, and trying to get into the mindset of um, the why, the why somebody would do this, why somebody would go to this extent, um. And it feels like there's a lot of, it's dawning upon people today that partly of the everything that we could have done to stop this is to not be so complacent, to maybe not be so compliant. There's a lot of people questioning and asking, in, asking today as to why they even shut down because it's the truth's out there now, you know, there was no need to, it had no real benefit. Um, regarding the thing that shall not be named um, so there's real contemplation here and self-reflection here and a disappointment in self here today in a lot of people and that's the most difficult to deal with I think that when we when we disappoint loved ones yes but when we disappoint ourselves when we haven't um, followed our, tr our true selves, our higher selves, um, and maybe had different motives or complacency. It's a real kick in the teeth. And so it does speak of the, the necessity for this card is that um, it often brings enough emotional impact and 
and or mental and or physical impact into people's lives that it really is a deep lesson that's being learned um, or lessons and um, it really is something that is going to stay with these people um, who are feeling this today it really is a, a time of change um, depending on what that change might be but there's a time of change definitely and that brings us into the second card um, it also it all, let's talk about just quickly actually that if we bring that down into individuals lives as everything reflects in on everything and as above so below so if we bring it down um, into our individual lives from the collective stage um, it's today that we are feeling a real um, sadness and detachment maybe from our environment maybe from our loved ones um, maybe from um, friends um, or just society in general that we, we feel detached we don't recognize where we are who we are in this situation um, and and what we need to be or what we want um, it really is a, a card for individuals today of too much mind and I've kept saying this um, in my personal life for various reasons very much so recently but also um, speaking of it with various other people I realize this is a theme of um, this is part of our battle part of our uh, realignment our balance is to control this because we've got a face that it's been controlled by outside forces for a very long time through manipulation through lies and deceit and so um there really is a, a the game is on to control this and not have too much mind um we've been taught to make decisions only with the mind um, and that is so detrimental to the outcome of the decisions that we make if you think about times where you've um, used the mind too much to apply to your decision making um, and think of the outcomes and then compare them to a time where you followed your passion, you followed your art, your creativity, whatever that might be, but something that gets your heart pounding and the result of it, the, the, the fruition of it, the, the fruit that is brought from that. And just compare for yourself to see which one fares better. Um, more or less guarantee most people will say when they followed their heart, um, the, 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 the rewards were abundant. There was, there was much more reward. Um, and in some cases, much less um, harsh lessons uh, than when they followed their mind to when they followed their heart. So the second card speaks of this it speaks of um this event the, the 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 world stage events um maybe maybe speaks of some arguments in the home the 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 devastation that is brought about in this card um has made this change it's stirring up today and throughout the day for a lot of us it will ignite more and more and more and, and be fueled more and more and more by our passions by our new goals by um, realigning what we find important realigning where we want our life to go to um, it speaks of um, things being yes very embryonic in their ideas but this flame going from a candle flame it will flicker when the heart follows this this flame um, into a fire you know into something that um, feeds you that feeds your soul but spurs you on um, so bear that in mind if you're in the three of swords feeling today um, allow yourself to sit with that for a while but then find your direction find a way that you want to go and how you want to go about it and and if you can't even face it that much then just look at literally what gets your heart pumping, what gets you excited, what ignites your fire. Um, the third card being this messenger, this page of water. 
um, so it speaks of matters of the heart which matches in with the fact that in other decks this card is depicted usually with um, the three birds here to represent words, thoughts and um, intellect uh, but in other decks it's just a very simple heart with three swords right through it um, and you can feel that when I say that it's like oh ow you know that hurts um, so it speaks of today these passions the things that lift you out of the things that are going on on the greater stage in the 3d here that are that are breaking your heart that are putting those swords in your heart it speaks of this passion um being as as for a lot of people a matter of the heart realigning what they find important um and messages being exchanged to express that to express um feelings the way people feel about each other the way people um ignite each other the passions the, the, being a far better distraction than this 3d world where people are hurting people um so it speaks of new beginnings in this and these messages realigning and um putting up a, a, a new flame even over old relationships um and friendships so that it, it is a it is a day where it starts off really solemn quiet and slow um into this flame you know remembering what makes you go remembering what makes you really excited happy blissful and exchanging messages towards whatever that is um that makes you happy blissful hopeful fired up um it does speak to um, being the gentle energy, the gentle man. And when I say that, it's a case of, um, I think many people who are exchanging these messages and um, trying to or wanting to express their passions towards the thing that makes them passionate or the person that makes them passionate. Um, there's this nervousness here today because um, and I think that's just down to this three of swords the energy being in the air of others hurting others and so we have to try not to fall into the the rabbit hole of mistrusting everybody um, and, and certainly not allow us to hold that hold us back from expressing this flame from growing this flame um, because actually for a lot of people I'm not picking up that the energy is there that nasty messages will go come right back at you if you spread your heart out um, or that you follow a dream or, or make good with a contact for business that it, the energy actually isn't I'm not picking up on the fact that that would be thrown back in your face um, more so that it would be accepted gracefully and, and happily um, so the huge message today is, as difficult as it seems, what we've been doing thus far is not working. The concentration on um, the events that took place, burning down of things in, in, in the wider stage, um, and in our individual lives taking notice um, putting so much focus into the thing in our individual lives that is making us unhappy, making us feel trapped, making us feel like we have these daggers in our heart, like we're missing something. Um, it's important to recognize that what we've been doing by focusing all our energy and intent that way um, has not been working. Um, so the advice today is to turn away from that and follow what makes you happy, what makes you passionate, what makes you feel safe, what makes you feel whole, what makes you feel fired up. Um, on the bottom of the deck to speak to that is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups represent in um, dissatisfaction um, in your position in the family home, in the business and this need um, which could add to this feeling of sorrow also um, this need of letting go, moving on um, putting your emotions and time elsewhere 
So again, that speaks to exactly what I've just been saying about lifting the focus from as, as counterintuitive as that seems or counterproductive as that seems. It is the very thing that we need to be doing, following our inner passion and taking away that intent, that focus of energy on the very thing that is trying to destroy us um, and trap us. So that's today for the 30th of May 2020. Um, I hope it helped. I hope it, it maybe lifted you up or just sometimes it just helps to have recognition of the feelings that we're feeling um, and have a reference point then to, to be able to know where those feelings are coming from, where that energy is coming from. Um, so I hope it helps anyway. So that's um, me for today. I'm going to try and get some other videos done. I always say that, but I am going to try um, and get them out there to you. But until next time, much love, be balanced and be whole. Mwah.